Silver Moon Tarot. I am doing a love reading for my Scorpios. We'll call it a New Year's Eve love reading. Um, I don't do much of a spill, so here it is. If you like my style, if you like my vibe, like, share, and subscribe. That's how we help channels grow on YouTube. And I'm just getting started on this channel, but not with tarot. So dive in. Let's see what messages Spirit has for us. Yeah, somebody's fighting to um, move forward in a new direction. They're fighting with others. Or you're fighting with others. Others don't want you to move forward or move away from them. Yeah, and, and you don't, you're not waiting on anyone. You're going to move forward in your truth, and you don't care what anyone has to say about it. Someone is really, really trying to be patient, or maybe that's you. Yes, okay. <clears throat> You're being patient, and you're holding on to the idea that you're going to get your justice in something. Justice in what? Yeah, so in, you're going to get your justice in the aspect of you used to not be able to see clearly and move forward, <clears throat> but you've taken time alone and now you're able to manifest whatever you want. So I feel like moving away from all these people that are fighting with you or fighting against you um, has given you some clarity. Who are these people fighting? No, they're fighting defeat. These are people that, yes, you defeated them. They received their karma. I'm not sure who this is. You guys will have to excuse me. My nose is driving me crazy today. Okay.
yeah it looks like you're meeting new people you're moving on <clears throat> you're healing your heart um it looks like you were in a toxic relationship or you came out of some kind of addiction and now you're meeting new people and healing from that yeah and apparently there's someone new coming in um I'm so sorry. Give me one second, guys. <clears throat> okay, I'm so sorry about that. My nose is driving me crazy. Yeah, you have someone new coming in. Someone is interested in you and wants to date you. Um, I feel like it's only after you've moved on from all these people that were against you is when you're able to welcome new love. <laughs> wow. Um, so this new person coming in is, wow, I got soulmates and twin flames. This is, okay. So this reading has taken a turn. Now we are going to pull from a different deck. Yeah, so it looks like you move forward from some heartbreak. And now you're single. And you're holding on to the idea, you know that justice is going to be yours. You know that now you can manifest whatever you want. And it looks like you've manifested love. Um, afraid to contact you. I hide behind material things. <clears throat> remember every detail of that day. I love you unconditionally. Who is afraid to contact? Yes, they're afraid to contact you because they know it's over. <clears throat> Tell me more about I hide behind material things. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Everything, yeah, everything is about money with this person. Everything's about money. Anything new that comes into their life, it has to have money. It has to bring them money. That's all they really care about is money. And they even will probably try to buy you things and, and tell you, I bought you this and that means that I love you. Yeah, this person is all about money. I feel like they, they're coming in saying they want to give you equal give and take and they want to build, um, start building with you. We'll see. I don't know if this is an old person or a new person. Yeah. Yeah, this is 
someone that wants marriage with you with the Hierophant. Higher levels of commitment. They say they want all this, but there's no cups. There's no emotions here. This looks a lot about money. And what can I say to get back in energy to me? But we'll clarify. Yes, <clears throat> this person's toxic. With the devil coming out. I love these cards, they're beautiful. It's from the, I'm using the Ethereal Visions Tarot right now. With the devil sitting on a perch here. Yeah, even behind him is a big, it looks like a pentacle without being a pentacle. And this is all pentacles. This person, even this Wheel of Fortune, has a pentacle in it. This person has some very toxic traits. Um, they're all about money. We're going back to the money part now. They're all about money. Everything's financially motivated. Unless they can get something, they don't want anything to do with it. Um, they think love is money. Money is love. They don't know what love is. They know how to talk about it, but they don't know what it is. All right. So since we pulled the devil, I think it's only appropriate to do a little shadow work oracle right now. Yes, this person is so empty. This devil person is empty. Nothing fulfills them. They're lacking emotions, feelings, compassion, empathy, sympathy. They, they wouldn't know how to fill up a cup full of love if, if they tried. If they had all love in the world, they wouldn't know what to do with it. Greener grass, yes, this person, this person is always looking for whatever's better than what they have. Greener grass, bigger, better deal. Yeah, and in their mind, their mindset is, <clears throat> if they have something new is more valuable than growing with someone, whoever has the most money, whoever's better looking. It's all about one-upping themselves. Uh, they're really one-upping themselves. So even if they have someone that they care about, they can't help it. They see a shiny thing and they're gone. This person's emotions are starting to bubble over though. So even though I said that they don't have them, they have them, they don't use them, if that makes sense. They have emotions, but when those come up, they just think of them as weakness um, and they get scared and then they get mad at you for making them feel that way. Um, it boils up inside of them and then you become the target of their anger and their aggression and it's all your fault. Yes. This is someone who will come in with, all they have is like, it's sexual energy, promising things that they can't really give you. And I really feel like you should set boundaries with this person or they don't have boundaries sexually. Um, intimately, they don't have boundaries. Yeah, and they run from their problems. <clears throat> Let's see what messages from you, what messages we have from your angels. Uh, 
Angel Aurora, you are flying high right now, which may threaten others, but don't descend because others will soon be inspired by your example. I love that. Let's see what our moon oracle has to say. Mm. How appropriate. Don't let your past hold you back. Yeah. Yeah, this card is telling you not to let this person hold you back. And it doesn't seem like you are with this angel card it says you're flying high and I think they see that okay I'm gonna pull one more card I don't even know what this deck is it doesn't even have a name on it I found it on Amazon <clears throat> but it has really really fun cool messages oh you get two I surrender to a power greater than me when I focus on my inner light, I see the world through the lens of love. Yeah. Yeah, when you focus on what's inside of you, you see everything else through love because you are love. You are love, even if that person didn't value you. <clears throat> well, my Scorpios, that is all I have for you. And like I said, help me grow my channel. If you like my style, if you like my vibe, like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.